Sandtroopers.com. Never imitating, always innovating. Bringing you the latest coverage in the Star Wars galaxy. I thought that was cool. If they come out with another like bounty hunter game where Boba Fett gets to, little Boba Fett gets to do something fun, you know? I know they come out with like a like a little Lego one where little Boba and little Anakin are like the two little guys you pick to go through this little tunnel and unlocks a door or something like that. Yeah, you're laughing. You know what I'm talking about. I gotta get to that game, but um, yeah, for now I'm just stuck on these Call of Duties, man. And uh, also. Um, Red, Red Dead Redemption. Oh, yeah. Dude, I go home at night time, and I'm just sitting in my house, dude, for hours, like, collect, 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 collect. <laughs> I'm like, this is so boring, but it's so fun. Like, whoa, pow, whoa. <laughs> just sitting there, you know, it's so fun. Like, oh, my God, going down into mines, you know? I thought it was the greatest game ever, you know? I was like, oh, man. I sit there, I'm like, oh, it's almost 1 o'clock. Better get to sleep. I gotta go see the Star Wars guys tomorrow. So I come on droopy like this. <laughs> <laughs> what was, what was that uh, Star Wars RTS? Um, uh, Galaxy Empire War. Yeah, love that. That was really good. Thank you for knowing what that was called. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, uh, don't think that game's come out yet, James. <laughs> yeah, it was old. What yeah. uh, what class are you gonna play in the Old Republic? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna be a tester. It's above it. <laughs> no, I was I was thinking counselor, but um, I, I don't know. I, I watched the uh, E3 multiplayer demo, and uh, that Republic Commando just looks so awesome. I mean, talk that that has some intense firepower, and that's kind of hard to pass up. But uh, depending on how the account system is done, I may just play them all. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Jay, how do they shoot the scenes with Jar Jar Binks? Did they have an actor playing this part? Uh, sometimes they, well, yeah, I, Ahmed was there most of the time, and he'd wear a helmet. Um, actually, during reshoots, he had an afro, and his afro would stick out from underneath the helmet, which was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, he, he was there all the time, and, uh, well, not all the time, they'd, he'd, they'd use him most of the time and then have me talk to an X on a wall, or uh, talk to a, to, a, to a silver ball. That was fun. Yeah, those silver balls were fun. Yeah, those things were. Half, half is like silver and the other half is like a mirror. Yeah. Never quite got what that was, but I went with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of how they do it. Yeah? Uh, this is for Daniel. What, what's your experience like working on the Clone Wars, the TV show? Like uh, it? It's amazing, man. I mean, I'm in the booth, you know, and they're like, Daddy, hold it down. Go to <laughs> Fada! Fada! And they're probably looking at me like, what do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> we could bottle this, we could sell this, you know what I mean? But it's, it's awesome, man. Dave Filoni is an amazing, amazing director. He's got a vision. I can see why George picked it. Um, I met all the cast, they're all great, you know, a couple of lovely Ashley working with her, you know, I go in on my phone. She never sees me. <laughs> Sit there in my booth, look at me, look at me. <laughs> never does. No, but it, I'm having a lot of fun. I mean, it's just great to be back in the galaxy, you know, and running around as a bad little kid. It's fun. I always wanted to be that bad little kid, you know, but I was always afraid of... Always were. Yeah, I kind of was actually, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, it's, it's cool, you know? I mean, um, George apparently just went in and said, I want to have a bubble fit and call little Daniel. So, little Daniel ain't so little anymore, but I can still do the job. So, yeah, it's fun, man. And where they're going with the story is just unbelievable, man. If you want to pay me, I'll tell you a little bit of the storyline. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's, all I can see is I saw the trailer celebration. Oh, what? Wicked, man. Awesome. Stay tuned, guys. You in the back, and you've seen your hand up for like days, man. <laughs> Either one. Yeah. I've got uh, two questions. Uh, oh, have you pushing heard the, the uh, <laughs> Have you heard the rap song about Boba Fett by MC Chris? My Boba. 
the fat. I know it's, I'm Boba, the fat. <laughs> MC Chris, right? Yeah. Dude, that's not a movie. I was sitting there watching a movie, not a tire, you know? I have a little dirty thing and that thing comes up, I'm like, oh man. Can't get away from Star Wars if I try. But yeah, it's a good one. I just need to give me that Corvette. You know, he says he's bounty hunts for Jabba Hutt to finance his vet or something that's like right. that. Yeah, yeah. I so I'm not, I'm not understanding if that's a Corvette or if he owns like a SPCA for like a small Jabba Hutt. I was also wondering, uh, do they have uh, private movie theaters in New Zealand? Nah, dude, we sit in trees. You <laughs> are. <laughs> Why you guys love <laughs> you would contemplate yourself like, maybe this guy's true. <laughs> they did find him down in that little hut island. Now, Lord of the Rings made us look old, but I mean, we're not that old. Now, um, what's the question? Uh, drive-in movie theaters. Oh! Maybe you know, I went to my first drive-in movie, movie theater with my buddies. You know how like, you're meant to go with a girl, you watch out the movies, you know, if your buddies come, they sneak out of the trunk. Yeah. So I had my two big buddies, and I'm like, this is not very romantic now, is it? <laughs> then my battery goes dead. No lies, true story. <laughs> First time I've ever been to one. And then uh, I go to ask if they have the jumper cable, and they're like, someone else stole it, so you're out of luck. <laughs> okay. Looks like I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know where I'm going Maybe I might have to start that business up. You know, it rains like 30 days non-stop in New Zealand, so I don't think it'd be a very good business. Yeah, Maybe it would be, because you wouldn't have to leave the car. <laughs> <laughs> you just wouldn't see much, because it's all black and white. <laughs> <laughs> you, buddy. All right. Uh, next thing, you know, my question's for Jake. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, next. <laughs> <laughs> Question, who's cooler, Bruce Lucas or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I kind of wanted to pit them to a fight, like, fight to the death just to <laughs> see <laughs> which one is. <laughs> but uh, I think George would win. Well, what's the governor? So he could, like, he could pass him kill him. Yeah, he's Lucas, he could do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my ranch. <laughs> <laughs> 2,400 acres. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Mr. Jedi in the back. Thank you. I was wondering if you guys ever, uh, and Lucas, if you guys ever had a chance to bring a lightsaber with uh, I hit some guy in the head with the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked it down. I, the head of Hasbro. Howard Rockman? Howard Rockman? Oh. No, yeah, yeah, that's toys. Yeah. Had a license. Uh, he was like, oh, hey, well, was this, this probably won't be a big deal. And, I, uh, they, I hit him with one of the graphite rods against the side of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the way, I'm Anakin, fool! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still kind of embarrassed. Oh, man. I got to use one. Yeah, it's on the trailer for um, the uh, Bucketheads on, on the, on the uh, DVD. Yeah, I got to use Ewan's because I always stuck around Ewan like bad smell. So I was like, yeah, if I leave you hold my lightsaber, will you be quiet and go away? So I stopped. <laughs> Nicolai was a good guy. He also let me play with him. Yeah. Do you want to hear another funny story real quick? I went on episode three, right? And uh, Hayden called me up and he's doing his last part of shooting Darth Vader. And they had like all the lightsabers without the, the things. So me and my pops were sitting there laughing like, oh, imagine if we stole one of each. You know what I mean? Like, how much do we think this thing would be worth? So we're walking away from the table. And as we turn around, one of the guys go, hey, one of the lightsabers is missing. <laughs> and me and my dad just look at each other like, do you have it? He looked at me like, do I have it? I was like, I don't have it. But it was like the awkward moment, like, you felt like you stole it? <laughs> no, no, hold up. It's right here, it's right here. We both like, Because <laughs> I was also looking at the baby Luke and Leia. I was like, oh man, how nice would that be? <laughs> a lot of girls are this thing, you know? You wanna see my baby? I can't touch it, doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, but uh, bounty hunters don't play with lightsabers, we play with blasters. I don't want to say Exactly. Jake, uh, are you really a Cubs fan, or are you just being really nice and somebody gave you that hat? I, have, have you looked at the standings? And <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, I, I enjoy, 
I, I got to go to the 4th of July game against the Reds. Oh, eh, terrible, Reds. terrible loss. 13-3, and three, I think. Sat right behind the Reds' dugout, and uh, we wore red stuff, so we got like three foul balls. It was, a fan, it was awesome. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. The first base coach kept throwing us balls, and uh, the game itself was off, was really fun to go to, and I love Wrigley Field. So, uh, I mean, why the... You're like, hey, aren't you doing better? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that ball. <laughs> <laughs> so you just get thrown at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While Star Wars would probably carry you as long as you wanted to go, do either one of you have any further aspirations for movies, directing, anything like that? I plan on being an editor. Um, that's what I'm going to school for. I, uh, I enjoy the peaceful chaos of someone else's footage and having to put it together in a way that's both sensible and appealing. So that seems to be where I want to go. Awesome. I'm doing pretty good at making popcorn, so <laughs> that looks like a pretty good career. Yeah. In the bag. Both. I can even do caramel. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you're lucky, we have the multicolored. Uh. Uh, someone's like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> that one don't taste good. No, um, you know what? I take day by day. Um, I feel up to this point I'm blessed. So, really, um, I, I love acting. I don't see myself doing anything else. Really, I have nothing else I can do. Um, but, yeah, I, I want to continue this, this uh, path. But, you know, um, the guy who played my father in the movie, Django Fett, he said to me something I've remembered forever. He said, in this business, one day you're like, it's like fish and chips. One day you're the newspaper, next day you're in the fish, you're the fish and chips. It's just deciding which one you are at what point in time. And I came up with my own. Well, hey, you can always be the oil, right? And the oil's everywhere. I'm <laughs> 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 paid, you know? So, yeah, you know, take day by day, really. Yes. Um, Daniel, how, how do you like yourself in the Clone Wars? Like, how do they design you? I thought you were going to say, how do you like your size? Oh, I don't look very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I love it, man. Um, when they're filming me, when I was doing it, I was wondering why they're filming me. And um, they actually got people in Hong Kong or, um, um, no, get me wrong, somewhere in China. And they're literally watching the video, and as they're watching the video, they're doing more of my movements. So all that thing is me, you know, like, <laughs> that was really good, you know, so like they're just copying what I do and how I speak and how I say the words. And uh, yeah, that's me. I love it. I love it. I mean, um, I, I love how they did so many and they did all the different hairstyles. Because now I've got to go to the barber and just have one of the pictures, you know, I'm like, I want to look like this today. You know, <laughs> you, know, so, you know, you go to the barber and you sit there for an hour and say, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Don't cut it like this, me, like this. Now I have the picture. I want to be clone number two today. <laughs> Don't clone around with my head style. <laughs> yeah, but I love it, man. Yeah. <laughs>